When you're by yourself, hooking up to a gooseneck or a fifth wheel trailer can be a real pain. You can end up getting in and out of the cab over and over and over. Oh yeah, and over again, just to get the hitch to line up. Does this ever happen to you? Yeah, well I'm sick of it. It's time to do something about it. Hi, welcome back to You in a Garage. In this episode, we're going to be installing a truck bed camera in our 2017 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. Most trucks these days already have a camera, but it's on the tailgate or the license plate frame, which uh, makes it a lot easier to hook up a trailer when you're hooking it up to uh, a bumper hitch, but no, it doesn't do you any good when you've got a fifth wheel or a gooseneck and your hitch is in the bed. With a truck bed camera, you'll be able to see what you're doing when you're hooking up those trailers as well. To install this truck bed camera, we picked up two kits from Brand Motion. We picked up kit number FLTW7622, which is the bezel with the camera itself on it, and kit FLTW7623, which is the wiring harness. The wiring harness is going to allow us to seamlessly integrate this the new camera with the existing tailgate camera that's already on the truck. Let's get this kit installed and see if we can make our lives a lot easier. In order to complete this job, you're going to need a 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, and 7 millimeter socket. You're also going to need a T20 and T15 Torx bit. I used some zip ties to hold the wires up out of the way once the installation was done. You're going to need a ring terminal to connect your ground. You're going to need a few wire connectors. I like these solder and seal connectors to uh, hook up your powers. And then you're going to need a way to tap into a 12 volt power source. I use this T-tap connector to tap into mine. First up, remove the factory cargo light using a T20 socket. And lift up from the bottom. Now we unplug the factory connector. So place the light on the new bezel. And then we need to feed the wires back down inside the cab. There's a lot of wire here. Let's just take your time and get it all fed down on top of the headliner that you can see just inside the hole here. All right, the kit comes with a couple of gaskets. We've got a thin one here. See here, and a thick one. All right, when putting on the gasket, make sure you put the uh, camera wire through the gasket. So you feed it right through there, and then the gasket fits on. All right, I tried the thick gasket, and I couldn't get the bolts to go in. So switch it up to the thin gasket, and let's give it a try. There we go. Done. The next step is to remove the lower glove box.
using a screwdriver, you can remove the hinges from the lower glove box. Just pry gently from the side. There we go. There's the second one. Pry in, push in on the sides there. Plug that in right there. And the lower glove box is off. And Removing the upper glove box only requires removing two more bolts and one connector. But after completing the job, I realized it was completely unnecessary. In order to feed the wires up above the headliner, we're going to have to remove the C-pillar cap here and the grab handles so we can pull the headliner down enough so we can get the wires through. You can just wiggle these free once the bolts are out. Now, in order to not have to take the B pillar apart, I'm just going to use a rod here and poke the wires through to the front. I'm going to use a piece of coat hanger here to help me fish this line through from the A pillar down behind the glove box where it goes. Just tape that on. A little electrical tape. And then pull it back down through. All right, right down here, you can see where the wire comes down from the A pillar and right here. Right up here behind this uh, support. is where the connector is that we're going to be dealing with. With the wire pulled down through the A-pillar and down into the dash, we're done with accessing the headliner. So let's button all this back up before we finish up the wiring. All right, next step is wiring it into the truck. What you're going to want to do is pull this gray plug right here. There's a tab up on top of the plug. Just press in, and that pulls right out. Then we take our patch-in harness, plug that in there. And this one, the other end, it goes right back up into the harness. Now we have this plug, already plugged that in. That's going to go to this end, which we've plugged into the feeds that we came that came from our camera. Now the switch we're going to run over someplace convenient so that we can toggle between backup camera and the 
bed camera. But as far as the switch goes, I decided to just run it into this uh, glove box here. So there's the switch, so we can switch between cameras. Um, honestly, I felt like this switch was uh, a little cheap looking, and I really didn't want that um, on my dash anywhere. So I'll just leave it in there for now. And uh, if I get a chance, I will see if I can find uh, a nicer looking switch and maybe, you know, mount it in, you know, here or something. With the patch harness in place, now we need to connect this line from our patch harness to the red wire coming from our camera. And then we have the black and red wire from, a, from the camera along with this black wire here labeled ground. These two, um, we're gonna put a ring terminal onto those and we're gonna attach it right there. We tested that, that's a pretty good ground. Now, as far as this 12 volt power goes, it says you can hook that to any good 12 volt power, but I'm looking through the wires here and I don't know what a lot of these do. So I decided I'm not going to try to splice into anything here. I'm gonna splice into the stereo. I know that's not gonna cause any problems with anything uh, dangerous like the airbags or anything like that that might be over here. So I took the entire bezel apart, took the radio out, and uh, right here, this is the plug for the radio. And this uh, pink and black wire right here is the 12 volt power for the radio. So we're gonna splice into that. We'll run the wire back through here, over here, and that'll be our 12 volt power. All right, that's the last of our connections. Let's button this thing up and give it a try. All right, let's see if this is any easier with the new backup camera. Got the truck bed camera on. There we go. That's a bit easier. All right, we've got the kit in, and it only took a couple hours to install, and uh, does exactly what it said it would do. Uh, we've got a clear view of the truck bed now, which makes hooking up fifth wheels and goosenecks way easier. And of course, you can also just check on your cargo if, if you need to do that. Um, the kit was pretty complete, worked uh, everything connected the way it's supposed to. It was a little disappointing that you it didn't come with a connector so that you could hook into uh, the 12 volt power source. So you are going to need to buy a connector for that. You're going to need to buy a ring terminal to hook to ground. Um, and uh, I didn't really like the switch. Uh, but otherwise, everything works the way it should. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. You in a garage.